What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to talk about some of the best places you can farm XP in the game. I'm going to give you three base zone areas that are good for grinding XP. Uh, of course, tomorrow update 29 comes out here on console. I'm sure there's a lot of players out there that are going to be grinding CP levels, maybe grinding, you know, trying to level up a character still if you just started playing the game. These are going to be some great spots that you can do that. Now there's tons of other areas in game that you can kind of grind XP in. Um, a lot of these have been changed or nerfed, or a lot of them in the game have been changed or nerfed over the years. Zoss has stated before, they kind of have a heat map that pretty much shows them where people hang out and congregate to farm XP. So they kind of have, uh, have changed the XP values in some of these places. But these three areas that I'm going to show you, like I said, are base game areas. You don't have to worry about having, uh, you know, DLC or anything like that to travel to them. But believe me, there's tons of places you can do this in. Uh, there's tons of different videos out there here on YouTube that you can find to grind XP. These are just some areas that I think will help out maybe some players that don't have uh, DLC or maybe want to go some places that aren't really crowded right to begin with because some areas in the game are going to be packed with people starting tomorrow. A lot of higher CP players are going to be trying to grind to 3600 as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to have, of course, are XP pots or XP scrolls. So either you can make your own XP pots, you can buy them from the guild trader, or if you're like me, you have probably played for a long time. Uh, if you're like myself, you have XP scrolls piled up in your ba uh, in your bank. So those are, are two ways or two things that you really need that will help out so you always want to have an xp pot or an xp scroll kind of going while you're doing this also if you have a friend that you play with you both have the ring of mara you can get that bonus of both you know kind of adventuring together with that ring of mara uh, once you get married in game also eso plus offers some extra bonus xp as well uh double xp events the jester's festival and the anniversary uh, event will be coming up jester's festival should be at the end of this month anniversary event will be next month these will be two really good ways to get XP as well because both of those events offer double XP and you can stack some of this extra stuff with it like the XP pots and the scrolls. Um, one good thing now uh, that you a lot of people I don't think uh, really realize is farming with a large group is not as, as beneficial as it used to be. So if you can find another friend to farm with, so a group of two is really the best. Group of three is not bad, but when you start getting four or more people in your group, you'll start to realize that you're losing XP instead of really gaining your maximum amount of XP. So I would recommend if you have a big group of friends, a big guild, if y'all want to go grind uh, certain places, you know, grind XP, whatever the case may be, get in groups of two and go do that. Uh, that's where you're going to get the most benefit from your XP. Also, you can do alchemy writs. That's another thing that I'm going to throw out there that a lot of people may or may not do. If you have saved a lot of, you know, master alchemy writs in your bank, I've been saving mine for a while now. You can go do those, turn them all in at once with an XP scroll on. Uh, with one of these double XP events coming up, and you can get a massive amount of XP at one time. Of course, you're going to have to have your alchemy completely leveled up, and if you don't have a lot of alchemy writs, it can get kind of expensive. Uh, alchemy writs at times are cheap. Sometimes they're more expensive, depending. Sometimes people start to sell them for a little bit more when events, uh, XP events start to come around. But if you've had a lot of those saved up in your bank or something like that, you definitely can do uh, alchemy writs or even enchanting writs to really uh, gain a lot of XP pretty quickly. All right, the first area that we're in here is in Deshaun. You can kind of see the uh, the shrine that I'm close to here, the Hills Way Shrine. I'm not going to try to butcher the names of some of these areas, but you kind of can see from where that Way Shrine is, kind of where my character is located now. And there's a little town right here that you can kind of see behind me. It's just kind of a burnt down, kind of corrupt town with zombies. There's just zombies everywhere. It's just corrupted with zombies. The zombies are going to be all around this area from left to right, kind of when you come in the area as well. And pretty much you just start, go left or right, whichever way you would like to go, and uh, make your way back to the front, and these zombies are going to be respawned. They spawn pretty quickly, not quite as fast, in my opinion, as they used to right here, but they still spawn very quickly. If it's only you or one other person here, you're going to be able to pretty much fight zombies all day, uh, really with no issue at all. Um, if there's a lot of people in this area, and I have seen multiple people here at times before, sometimes the spawns are a little bit slower, but this is a really good place to uh, kind of grind out some XP. If you play early in the morning, maybe in the U.S. when there's not a lot of people on, this would be a really good spot. Once again, like I said, it is in Deshaun, so it's a very good area that's, you know, just kind of a base zone area. You don't have to worry about having DLC if you are newer to the game. Let's travel over to the next area uh, in Greenshade. I'll show you another good place you can grind XP there as well. All right, we're here in Greenshade uh, in an area a lot of you may have never really paid attention to. You can kind of see the Way Shrine here. It's kind of... Uh, the area that we're in is kind of nestled in between the Way Shrine, uh, the Spring Site, and the Morrow Dolem. Uh, the great thing about this is 
not only can you farm this area right here, but anytime the dolmen pops up, you can go farm it as well. But this is really not an area, like I said, that's marked on the map, as you can see. It's not got a little town here or anything like that. But there are several enemies that spawn here in these structures. Once again, it's a thing you can do where you can start left to right, just kind of go around. Uh, these enemies spawn back very, very quickly. And as once you know, you've killed these, if the dolmen is up, you can go over there and run, do the dolmen real quick, and come back, and the enemies will definitely be spawned back. But me and one friend did this years ago uh, to level up some characters. We stayed over here, really never too many people over here. Uh, and it's really a good source of XP because these enemies spawn up very quickly. You can pull several big groups of them at a time. At about two or three pulls, you can have the area wiped out, and then everything will start to spawn back. So this is another really good area. Like I said, just besides it being in a base zone area, it's also by a dolmen. So there's kind of two things you can farm you know, XP on here. Kind of go over to the last spot that I'm going to show you in Bankarai, one really good spot that I have farmed a lot of XP in in uh, my ESO days. This is one area that I have ranked up several characters just in general over time. So this is probably one of my favorite spots in game. And hopefully um, you're going to be, uh, or maybe you've already been here before, if I can get up this rock, as I can't even ride them out this morning. <laughs> but maybe you can, uh, maybe you've been over here, maybe you've been here with a friend. If not, this is a really good spot to farm. Uh, you know some xp as well so let's head over to bankarai really quick all right we're here in bankarai as you can see we're here by the ruins uh the ruins way shrine pretty much as soon as you come off this way shrine there's going to be uh the ruins right here and there are a lot of spiders here that you can farm we're going to kind of just ride through this area real quickly because it's kind of a long area uh, to kind of describe without you being able to see it so you're going to start your pull kind of right here where i'm at you pull all these spiders up be able to kill them really really quickly you can kind of work your way up to this area. This is a fairly popular area over time. You're going to work your way down into this area. As you can see, somebody has probably been here because there's not very many spiders. There's spiders down that area, and there's usually a group that spawns right here as well. And then you're going to work your way up to this area and kill the spiders that spawn here. And this is a really bad example for this video because, like I said, somebody is farming XP over here. As you can see, there we're going to go right by them right now. And you're going to come to this last area right here and pull these spiders as well. And you'll be back to the front. Now, if there is a group doing it here, uh, once again, I wouldn't really recommend grouping with them. If there's a large group, you know, either maybe one person is fine, or if you have a friend, that's fine. You may need to follow the group around. Sometimes if there's a lot of people here, you're going to gain less XP because, once again, you're not going to be getting as much because a lot of people are going to be killing uh, the spiders quickly. But it's still a very good spot if it's only a few people because there's a lot of spiders here. I have ranked up several characters here in double XP events with XP scrolls going. It took me four or five hours six max to get zero to 50 so it's a good place to do that another thing is you get a lot of spider eggs if you're in guild trader you can sell those spider eggs or you can use them for your alchemy stuff whatever the case may be we're gonna talk about some honorable mentions really quickly uh, of course you can go to do do things like different arenas uh, maelstrom arena or dragon star arena will give you a lot of xp you can play those on normal solo and get a lot of xp from either one of those uh, of course, you always can do the dolmens in Alakur Desert, which is a you know something that a lot of people have done over the years to rank up characters. So that is also an option. And last but not least, you can go down to Craglorn. Of course, go to Spellscar, which is probably one of the most popular grind locations in the game right now. I'm sure it's probably the same on PC, but on console, this place is usually packed with people uh, from any time that I'm on, <laughs> from early in the morning to late in the evening. So it's not really never a, a place that's not crowded, but you can definitely try that. Or if you are, of course, in, in Craglorn here, you have a friend, you always can go to Skyreach, do some Skyreach runs with you and one other person. I uh, do some, get some pretty good XP there, even though Skyreach has been nerfed several times. Those are just like, kind of some examples of some areas that you can go to. Like I said, the three that I've given you here, the one in Bankerai, Deshaun, and of course, Green Shade are all base uh, game zones. This one right here is probably the more popular out of the two. Uh, this, this right here, of course, in Bankerai is going to be the area that you're going to see probably more people. But it's still a really great place to be able to grind out XP. Hopefully this will help you out. Also, I'm going to link uh, Nephis' video from uh, where he showed a really good way to grind XP in Black Rose Prison with a friend. I'll link it down in the description if you would like to maybe go try Black, Ro uh, Black Rose Prison out as well. But anyway, guys, like I said, I hope this helps you out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.